Hello and welcome to IDC 2023. We're here in beautiful Amsterdam. We're at the Adobe booth. My name is Francis Crossman. I'm the senior product manager of Premiere Pro at Adobe. And we've got some exciting enhancements to talk about today. So you may have heard of text-based editing. This is a process where you can transcribe your source clips. It uses an AI transcription. We support it in 18 different languages. And then you can use that text to actually edit. We released this back in May, but we've got some big enhancements this show to talk about. And these are the big things that people ask specifically for. So the first one is bulk actions. When we were demoing back at NAB and we were showing people how you could find pauses and stuff like that, the first thing that everyone asked is, can I just click a button to have it remove all those pauses all at once? Well, now you can. And we also got a lot of requests about filler words. This is the ums and ahs and ands, all that kind of stuff that plague most interviews. We can now detect those and automatically remove them all at once. The other thing that's very related to dialogue editing that we're bringing in this upcoming release is enhanced speech. This is another artificial intelligence powered feature that analyzes poorly recorded dialogue and fixes it up. So if your fancy lavalier died and you were stuck with in-camera audio, you might think that your interview was ruined, but with enhanced speech from Adobe Sensei, you can now clean it up in a click of a button. This was first in Adobe Podcast, which is an online application, but now we brought it right into Premiere Pro. It runs on device, so you don't need any internet connection. It's very fast, and you have unlimited access to enhanced speech. It's really, really going to save a lot of time and allow you to save those interviews that otherwise would have been ruined. So AI-powered fancy features are great, but we've also been really paying a lot of attention to the reliability and the speed of the application. In this upcoming release, we're happy to say that we've improved the timeline UI redrawing by five times. And what this means is that you'll get buttery smooth interactions in the timeline. All of those small little micro interactions that make up editing, like trimming or scrubbing or doing zooming in on the timeline, the UI itself is much, much faster than it used to be. And so this is going to make your editing a lot smoother. The other things that we're doing to maintain the stability of the application are we're bringing in an effects manager. And what this does is it allows you to see all of the third-party video effect plugins that you have installed and diagnose if they're misbehaving. So in the event of a crash, we can detect that this crash was caused by a third-party plugin and we can prompt you to disable it and get your system back up and running. So all these features are in public beta right now. You can download the beta and try them out for yourself. They'll be rolling into the general release later this fall. And for more information, go to adobe.com.